There's nothing like the entertainment capital of the world, fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. It's also home each year to the Mountain West Basketball Tournament. Today, Larry Nash Jr. of Wyoming is set to go head to head with Jalen Moore of Utah State. Mountain West hoops coming your way right now. Thomas and Mack Center on the NLB campus in Las Vegas. Second of four Mountain West Tournament quarterfinal games on CBS Sports Network. Wyoming matches up with Utah State. We start a quarterfinal Thursday and saw a top seed of Boise State beat Air Force thanks to 23 points and seven threes from Nick Duncan. There are still two more games to go after this one tonight on CBS Sports Network. Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Great to have with us for the Mountain West Tournament. Dave Ryan alongside Bob Wenzel, former head coach at Rutgers. We're joined by Evan Washburn, our reporter, in a moment. Great year for Larry Nance Jr., son of the legend from Clemson in the NBA, Larry Nance Sr. He's been fabulous all year, despite missing four games with Mono. Co-defensive player in the league and what an athlete. First team all conference also, and he had an ACL last year, which limited his effectiveness. But he is really big time right now. Six foot nine player. Let's take a look at the line of his game. He draws attention and watch as the defense runs at him. He'll ball fake and go by people. That's good for a six foot nine player. Also, watch how he goes by everybody in the scene. Look at his vision. He's looking left. He fakes and goes to the basket on the drive. And then the spectacular is also part of his game. Hankerson deals it to him. He's the trailer on this play. And that is spectacular. Wow, what an athlete. What a dunk, Larry Dance Jr. Well, it's been a roster renovation for Utah State head coach Stu Morrill. So many players are gone. One guy back, Jalen Moore, leading scorer and rebounder for the Aggies. And he's on your All-American All-Hair team. <laughs> he's first team All-Hair team, second team All-Mountain West Conference. They are a team that likes to spread the floor, much like Boise. Watch right here. The middle is completely open. And when the help comes, the dish is made, and Moore can make the mid-distance as well as the three-point shot. His dad was a great player at Utah State, so is he. When we come back, Cowboy fans are ready. Wow, it is game time. Quarterfinal number two of four today and tonight. Basketball on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by Kubota. For Earth, for life. By the Principal Financial Group. We'll give you an edge. And by Werner. Number one in ladders. Utah State, 18 wins this year, even with a loss in the Mountain West Tournament. The Aggies could continue to a postseason. We know one thing, though, the year does end. Legendary Utah State coach Stu Morrow will retire. More on that. Let's go back to Evan Washburn. Dave, as you know, with 402 wins for Stu Morrill as head coach of Utah State, he is a living legend in Logan. And on January 9th, he did announce that this season would be his last. And his message on that day was that if I could impact anyone's life, then it's been a good thing. And over the course of 29 years as a head coach at just three schools, he's done that and more. And just moments ago, the Mountain West honored Stu Morrill with a ceremony here. And in true Vegas style, he won a trip to the Bahamas, which is awesome. And uh, guys, if they want to keep playing another day, his players are going to help out, have to help out Stu Morrill with a win. 12th active. Coach nationally, Evan, 620 career wins. Montana, Colorado State, and 17 years in Logan leading the Aggie program. Time for the starting lap, brought to you by Kubota. Chris Smith, an outstanding outside threat for Utah State. Milo Grabo leads the nation 95.1% from the free throw line. Keep a close eye on Josh Adams. He's only about 6'1". He plays above the rim much of the game. Great athlete. He is their best guy when they run down at the end of the shot clock, which they do often. Wyoming, defensive-oriented team. And there is Larry Shia. Brought each of his Cowboy teams in the postseason so far. The last three of the CBI this year in Laramie. He wants those folks to the big dance. Bought the RPI at 97 at CBSSports.com entering play today. So they've got to win this tournament in Vegas to get back to the big dance. 
Let's take a look at today's E-Trade game plan. Well, these are the things that I think about Utah State. They are a three-point accurate team. They've got to do that, and they've got to establish the inside so they can shoot those threes. Colette is a freshman who is a very physical player inside. Wyoming, they have to play through Nance on every offensive possession if they can. Josh Adams at the end of the shot clock needs to create for them. He's the best guy with the bounce. Nance Jr. missed four games toward the end of the season with mononucleosis. We actually called his first game on CBS Sports Network back against Fresno State up in Laramie. He and the Cowboys lost to Marvell Harris and the Bulldogs that night and actually lost three of the last four games heading into the tournament here. They were 3-1 and one without Larry Nance Jr. in the lineup. They like to have him back. Certainly, he is their best player. Well, Wyoming earlier in the year had gotten into the rankings. They and San Diego State and also Colorado State were ranked in the regular season as well as San Diego State. So four teams from this conference at one point were ranked in the AP Top 25. And of course, when Nance went down with the mononucleosis, they have really tried to get their rhythm back since that time, and it has not been an easy chore. Colette, Nance Jr. jumping up at midcourt, Utah State. Lower seed visiting uniforms. First half court possession of our game today. Here's Jalen Moore. Perkins thought about a three. Perry works to Colette. Baseline short. Interesting first possession. Wyoming's defense, excellent. They are solid man to man. Adams, we told you about the athleticism. <laughs> right off the hop, he drives in for two. He's special. He's a baller, by the way. No doubt about it. Mm. And he's really their only guy that does that. But at this end, everybody plays defense. I asked Larry Shiat anything special that he has planned, and he says we have to be on high alert because they are a well-balanced offensive team. No taking one guy out of it type thing. More for three. Back iron. Colette up high for the rebound. Drives in, and he'll shoot a couple of free throws. Or is it an offensive foul? No, I think he's going to shoot he'll it. He'll shoot. Blocking call. Colette, number 13 in your screen, is 6'9", about 225, taking it hard to the goal. He is a freshman. However, he is Mormon and went on a Mormon mission. So uh, Steve Fisher from San Diego State called him, you know, that 35-year-old freshman at Utah State. <laughs> a little exaggeration. However, he is an older player for a freshman, married. Served his LDS mission in Charlotte, North Carolina. And rattles home a couple of free throws. Third team all Mountain West for David Collette out of Murray, Utah. Very impressive freshman in the Mountain West this year. Pretty good shot blocker as well. Matchup zone. Pressure the ball. Everybody else get in the lane. Take the next guy on the perimeter. That's your rule. Great ball. Works for Hankerson Jr. Adams, not this time. Play kept alive nicely by Derek Cook, Jr., senior forward, great athlete in Washington, D.C. Has not played much basketball, only his fourth year playing. Low skill, high motor. Was a high school football player in D.C., and a really good receiver, but he got too tall for that position. Went to J.C. and really picked up basketball there. Pretty amazing story. When he, he, left, high school, yeah. when he left high school, he worked at Target. How about that? So they've worked on his abilities. Two offensive boards already for Cook. Nance Jr. gets more. Great ball. Wow. Not close on the three. Nance Jr. kept it alive. Cook Jr. lays it in. Of the 68 baskets that Cook has made this year, 67 of them are dunks. High flyer. Ian Adams, both special players. Special three for Perry. Freshman from McKinney, Texas, outside Dallas. Only a freshman, you're right. Stu Marl trusts him. Wyoming 
not known for its three-point shooting. They want to go through Nance as much as they can. Great ball up top. Adams under 10 to shoot. They can knife through traffic with the best of them. Hankerson Jr. McGuffey spins and gets a roll. It's a great start for Derek Cook Jr., the senior from D.C. Mentioned pick Perkins hits a three in the corner. Darius Perkins, a junior from Fort Myers, Florida, lights it up for Utah State. Great shooting early on. Also, a junior college player out of Miami Dade, very powerful junior college program. Law Nance Jr. trying to collect and dunk with the no look stuff attempt. Gathers, put back off the mark as well. That would have been something if he had finished that hammer with the no look. Did his dad win a dunk championship? Indeed. Son Zuni. It didn't even deep round. No look, but I remember. I'm dating myself. What an athlete. Nance Jr., nice catch on the pass from Adams. Goes for the long range hammer and misses another dunk. The adrenaline getting the best of Nance right now. No oh, doubt. Final Mountain West Tournament. Jalen Moore, nice fake. One iron miss. Utah State runs good stuff. They get open looks. <laughs> Team split the regular season, each winning on their home floor. Adams for three. And in those two games, as far as points scored, Utah State the more consistent. They had 56 and 53 in the two games. Wyoming wildly inconsistent in the loss 44, in the win 76. 44, that's a big difference. The second lowest scoring output of the year. And 42 against Cal. Adams bouncing to Nance Jr. Nice fake on Colette and a foul call on a freshman. Nance is excited. The adrenaline's getting the best of him. Two missed dunks. Adams, however, taking up the slack. The best creator creates. Derek Cook Jr. All the points so far for the Pokes. A one-point lead on Utah State. Bracketology talk, Mr. Wenzel. How many teams in your mind get in? Of course, depending on what happens this weekend here. Well, Colorado State, San Diego State, and Boise State, I think, are in. Wyoming, of course, I think it's clear that they have to win the Mountain West Conference Tournament to get into the big dance. Colorado State has 26 wins and a 26 RPI. Larry Eustacey has done a fabulous job there. Of course, uh, a very veteran coach. Speaking of veteran, okay, Steve Fisher at San Diego State. And keep in mind now, Dwayne Poe Lee, who had the heart arrhythmia and uh, failed and, and uh, went unconscious on the floor back in December, he is back. And in their last game on senior night, he was fabulous. He was everywhere on the floor. I think that's going to help them in the NCAAs. See Poe Lee and the Aztecs against UNLV next game after this one. Nine Eastern CBS Sports Network, third of four quarterfinals. Last game, Colorado State, Fresno State. Great action from the Thomas and Mack today and tonight. This is fun. Really like the way Utah State plays offense. Their movement is excellent. A lot of dribble handoff stuff. Going to be very, very difficult for Wyoming to guard. Nance Jr. picks up his first foul. Preseason Mount West player of the year. Well, Mark's got it at the end of the year from Boise State, and I'm not sure if that would have happened had Nance been healthy the entire time. I think Mark's probably still would have got it. They finished first. Nelson Jones into the game, feeding down low. McGlaston can't finish, though. McManaman battles for it. Cook Jr. finds it. Here comes Adams. Josh Adams, fearless. 
That's why. Money. Two threes at eight early for Josh Adams. He had a career best eight assists against the Aggies on senior night in the recent game. Head to head with them. Lasted has his first two. Nice drive in the bucket for JoJo. Jack Benson, senior guard of the game for Wyoming. Didn't see much playing time at all. Had a lot of DMPs this year. Last few games for Larry Shiat has emerged as a backup point guard. Played him on senior night. Played well. Adams again. Not this time. Front iron miss. Loose change for more. The last and feed it. High low play for more in the finish for Jalen. Back and forth game, five lead changes already here, Bob Wentz. This is fun to watch, huh? Indeed it is. Moore is a very consistent player. Big steal for Perry. Lays it in. They are alert. When you play a matchup zone, the front guys can gamble. Because when they gamble and go for the steal, if they miss it, they have somebody backing them up. Vance Jr. Skip pass. McManaman. Short this time on three. Elevating the last of 6 5. A sophomore from Dublin, California. Strong defensive rebound. Elston Jones. John Puck won't go. Utah State so far has used much more depth. First two for Nance Jr. Nance is going to have to play a lot of minutes in this game for them to win it. Larry Shy told us yesterday he's got his win back, his legs back after missing at the time of Mono. He lost 17 pounds during yeah. that time. Had to be hospitalized. More free for three. Aggies have more weapons. That's why they're on a nine zip run. They share the ball, lots of balance. Moore is the leader. But Smith can shoot, Perkins can shoot, and JoJo can take it to the basket. The steal, the run out. That's the easiest one at the opposite end. Dance can make the 15-footer. He's got to do a lot of that in this game. Be sure to catch the new movie, Run All Night, from Warner Brothers Pictures in theaters tomorrow. Josh Adams, effective. Coach Wenzel, as we thought he would be. He's got seven points. The long-range shot most recently was a two, not a three. He's a creator. Right at the beginning of the game, he took control. That's creativity going to the basket right here. He's got the three on a behind-the-back dribble, and then the pull-up two. So he's made one three. He's three for five, seven points, and he is filled with enthusiasm. Love the way that this guy gets after it. We asked him this year, would you rather dunk or would you rather take a three? He said, I'm going to take the dunk first. I like to battle amongst the trees. They list him at 6'2". He's not that tall. He's more like 6'1", 6 6'4". But what athleticism. Got the top vert leap for the team. Case in point. Makes the pick. And he's fouled. He'll shoot two. He leads this team in steals, and he shows why right there. That's number 44 on the year for Mr. Adams. And he will go to the line. JoJo McLaston fouls him hard, which is a good thing to do. Make the guy earn it from the free throw line. Third in the league in assists. He's had a great year. And only a junior. And Parker, Colorado, south of Denver. Larry Shot has told us this year. Not recruited at all. I mean, just off the radar. Most teams, couple D2s in the state of Colorado are interested. Wyoming, the only Division I program that offered Josh Adams. He's become a big star. 1-2-2, two, two, three-quarter court trap. This is designed to take some time off the clock. Back into zone. 
High low play. Catch there for Harris. He lays it in. Sean Harris, the senior on the All-American All-Hair team as well, I believe. <laughs> Let's go back to Evan. Well, guys, I was able to get word on what was being said in that Wyoming huddle. Larry Schott obviously prides himself on defense, not pleased with that end of the floor. And he says it starts on the three-point line. Utah State three from five. They got to run them off that line, guys. Well, they're not going to run them off the line if they play passive 2-3 zone. They got to play aggressive and extend it. Grabo gives it up. Skip Hankerson Jr. It's Adams. End of the shot clock. Got the front iron somehow. Got the ball in the basket. But well, we're, we're going to see shots at the end of the shot clock in this game. Wyoming is very deliberate about how they go about their offense. So I think we're going to see some of that. Glaston missed Barnes. Harris has gone through two ACL tears and two senior days. Yeah, back to back years. Wasn't sure if he get another year. Travels this time. He's in his sixth year. He got the, the NCAA, allowed him to play in his sixth year this year. So he feels like he is contributing to this team, making meaningful minutes. You know, one thing impressive about Utah State, when, when Wyoming went zone on that last possession, Usually a team takes a while to adjust to the new defense they're seeing. Boy, they get right into it, hit high post, went low. Beautiful. Nance here at the elbow. Nance has not had many opportunities so far. Cook Jr. in trouble. Broken up. Great play by Smith. Read it. Adams the battle. Got the timeout right in front of us. Great play by Josh Adams. Just had enough possession, according to the officials, to get the timeout. Cook is hitting his head because he knows that that was a bad pass. Scrum after the ball, diving on the floor. This is what you want to see for guys, and very alert by Josh Adams. Cook got trapped along the baseline, and he demonstrated his lack of experience by throwing that ball out like he did. CBS Sports app, the only app college basketball fans need. You get instant team alerts, scores, bracket games, and more. Download the CBS Sports app right now. Stu Morrow, very, very experienced coach. Very positive in his approach with his teams. I've done a lot of his games over the years. Success at Montana, success at Colorado State, and an icon in Logan, Utah. Very well respected in the college basketball world. And the new recipient of a trip to two to the Bahamas. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Congratulatory <laughs> gift from the Mountain West. Grabo pulls up. Whoa, wide left. That is way off. More on the run out. Head of the pack. Foul. It's blocked late. More and Utah State would love the basket to count. It's not going to. Two free throws. The run out. The elevation. Both guys going after it hard. Grabo picks up a foul, Coach. Adams is unbelievable. He's a high up 6 1 guard is. I believe that that is a goaltend call. In the past, when the ball hits the backboard below the rim, you can do that. But now, once it's on the backboard, it should be. Uh, a goal 10 call, and it was not. They didn't even go to the monitors to check it. Seven points for more. He's got double figures at 28 of 30 games this year. Illinois State and Wyoming, the home game in Logan for Utah State in January. The only two games non double figures for more all year. He's been great. Nance has had not a lot of opportunity here, and he wants it. We saw him bury the elbow jumper earlier. Kicks out instead. Hankerson Jr. has a long-range shot. Nance just got hit in the face by an elbow by Collette. Unintentional. No foul called. I'm wondering if he needs to go to the bench to uh, clear his eye. First points of the game for the senior from Miami, Charles Hankerson Jr. Not normally known for his three-point shooting. Let's take a look at this end right here. Colette on Nance. I'm not sure which guy hit him. 
think it was Chris Smith. Kind of rake that left. Yeah, I think you're right. Hand in front of his face. It's still bothering him. You can see that. Good camera work there. He's blinking his left eye. We talked about one of the keys for the Wyoming offense is to go through Nance. And they have not done that very much in this game. And that's why they're behind. He's only got two points, one of four for the field for Nance Jr. so far. And not as many touches as he should have, even, out, even as a passer. Then shoots Adams. Crossover on Smith. Josh Adams, reverse layup. Can't finish. Here's Collette. Neither big man has been established offensively in the game, Collette or Nance. Here's Collette. Got good range, too. Kick out. Smith. Front iron. Way off on a three try. Nance to the weak side rebound. Here come the Pokes. Foul on the floor. Leading us to a timeout. Utah State by three, Mount West quarterfinal. Nance Jr., as coach says, got to get going. Only two points so far. I'm here to shot in self defense. First ever postseason meeting between Utah State and Wyoming. Good one so far in the Mount West quarterfinal for Thomas and Mack in Vegas. Let's take a look at the AP Top 10 poll, powered by Dodge. We know Virginia's won already today in the ACC. Well, Kentucky, of course, is going to play close to home all the way through uh, the tournament. I don't think they'll have to get on a plane at any time. Likely that Villanova will be in Pittsburgh on that second and third round sites. Wisconsin in Omaha. It'll be interesting to see where the placement of the first four and the second four are being played because a lot of people want to avoid Kentucky. And we'll see what happens. And uh, those are the likely destinations for the top 10 teams. North Carolina beat Louisville in the ACC tournament. Bit of an upset there in the four five seed game. Arizona's won as well against Cal. Villanova beat Marquette easily in the Big East. A lot of great teams in that top 10. Tournament committee, good luck. Challenge, yeah, to say the least. Gonna be tough. Bench drives in. Nice speed. Nance Jr. gets involved. More of that required. Wild fans who come from Laramie in big numbers. Making some noise. Smith to the left way off. Cook Jr. elevates. Tip by Perry. Adams got bump, no whistle. Second bump, still no whistles. Adams feeding Nance, finishing. How about Josh Adams? Takes not one, but two hits on the way up court. And still dishes the dime. I like Adams and Bents in the game. Bents is a good passer. Missed from Perry. They, want, they do not want to run much. Bence is from Ohio. Dad was an AAU coach. He and Nance played together on that AAU team. Chagrin falls south of Cleveland. Big bump. Cook Jr. is steamrolled. Foul on Utah State. Perkins crashes into Cook, knocks him to the ground. This is an out-of-bounds situation, which is really fortunate for Wyoming because Cook is a 52% free throw shooter. They'd rather have the possession. First foul on Perkins, Bob. In the game today, as Benz handles. Ten assists his last two games. Regular season for Benz. Yep. Coming deep off the bench, too. Yes, he's had a key roll. Hankerson Jr. up top. Short. Collette. Sometimes you discover things. And sometimes a guy like that works hard in practice. He gets an opportunity. And all of a sudden, he's helping your team. Helping Utah State, Chris Smith. 
The long range three and the foul. Smith shoots only 47% from three point range. He is an excellent shooter. He and Perkins are the three point shooters on this team. Chance for a four point play. Misfires on the free throw. Smith Dangerous, third leading scorer on the Aggie roster, almost 13 points a game. A lot of minutes being logged by Nance. Utah State substitutes more. They should be fresher in the second half. Adams pulls up the dribble. Eight to shoot. Clear out. Nance Jr. For Hankerson Jr. Nice through traffic and lays it in. Linebacker and sneakers. That guy is built. 6'4, 230. The senior from Miami. There's a truck. Smith up top. Short this time. Bodies everywhere. Oh, Collette oh, oh. just got mashed down low and sent to the hardwood. Collette, despite the fact that he does not have high skill level, he rebounds. He's got a bunch already. Adam pulls up. And in for 15. Sensing fatigue a little bit on the part of Wyoming's players. Josh Adams is very aggressive both ends. Pulled the string on that shot. Collette really hasn't been involved at all. 0 for 1 for the field. Right on cue. Try to feed him in the paint. Mishandles. Here's Bentz. Adams is feeling it right now. He wants to slow this game down. You're right. Sitting on the timeout. He's gassed right now. Yep. Overplay. Collette commits the foul. Wyoming, they're good. Why? They got Nance. He can finish. This is a good one. Coming up on AT&T at the Half-Red Stover Team, please, Gary Parrish, Jerry Palm will give you the latest news and scores from around the country. Only 60 games, Bob Wetzel, going on at college basketball today. <laughs> 60? Here are some headlines. Well, Virginia keeps rolling, as does Villanova. Villanova is so experienced. I love the way they play defense. And how about the Tar Heels? Upset the Ville, 70 to 60. That's all good stuff. We have had some fatigue in this game, my friend, and... Uh, at the end of the half, that young man who has nine points in the game already, Josh Adams, was feeling it. And uh, he rested on the offensive end, which is a good thing to do, especially when you play for Larry Shiat. If you rest on the defensive end, you end up getting a seat next to him. So when he was fatigued, he held the ball out, went deep into the shot clock, and then they got a timeout. So uh, he should be back at full steam. Plays well, 33 minutes a game. Yep. Great athlete. Bentz has added a lot. The walk-on point guard, number 13. I like the isolation here. Nance Jr. Elbow jumper successful earlier in this first half. That one rattles out on Larry. That's a good quality shot for them, though. Got to get involved. He's the best player. Four threes made by the Aggies by four different players. They have balance. You've got to guard everyone. And 4 of 10 from long range. Wyoming's hit two threes in the game so far. Drop the basket way off by Perry. A circus shot in the paint. Cook Jr. clears the defensive glass for McManaman. That's the eighth for Cook. He is clear in the defensive glass, man. Knows his role, huh? Nance Jr. knows his role as well, Bob Wenzel, baseline. <laughs> and he converts. <laughs> He's something. A little bit acrobatic there. Doesn't quite jump as high as his dad did. That ACL heavy brace on his right knee. 
Fourth throw the end of last season. With the last an athletic play as well on the other end for Utah State. JoJo responds. The sophomore from Northern California. Dublin. California has got a second bucket. Final minute, first half for Vegas. It's not really a scoring threat. He is a passing threat, though. Brooke Jr. misfires on the slam and a bump call. Nance Jr. is fouled by Perkins. Two fouls on Darius. And that's a bailout because there's only five seconds left on the shot clock on that particular play. This is how you work in the post. Use both feet, pivot feet. Nice move along the baseline. You feel the defense and go the other way. You don't have to see the defense, you feel it. Pro move. Nance Jr. Baseline. Gets physical. Needs some help. Skip pass to nobody out of bounds. Nice defense by the Aggies. Larry Shire can't be happy about that one, but the double team on Nance, very good. Cleanly played so far. Only a few turnovers for each team with 28 seconds to go. Let's do all takes a timeout. Talk things over here. Less than half a minute remaining in our first half. What's each coach thinking about right now? Let's take a look at the D, Mr. Ryan. On the last play, Nance is a threat right here. And when he gets that ball, watch as they come. He puts it on the floor, and the double team comes from both sides. That is a great double team without fouling. Creates the turnover. Nicely done. 21 points for Nance Jr. each of his last two games. One of those was head to head with Stu Moore on Utah State on senior night for Larry. He and his dad are very close. Legend Larry Nance Sr. still lives in the Cleveland area. And his family was there watching in Laramie at the Arena Auditorium on senior night. Well, everybody in the Mountain West knows that this guy is an outstanding player. And he should be double teamed on every touch when he's on the low block on either side. Tougher to double team him when he's in the middle of the floor. And that's where he's been most productive in this game so far. That little 15 foot shot dead straight on. Shot clock turned off here, Bob. Will be the final possession of the first half. McLaughlin holds. He's a driver. Perkins can shoot it. Ten seconds left. Smith. Jones. Under five seconds. Needs some help. Moore with one second left. Did not get the shot off in time. Not a great possession to finish the half for Stu Moore's Aggies. The four and five seed. A tie game at half. What else would you expect? We're joined by Wyoming coach Larry Shire. Well, coach, I'm curious the pace of that first half. You only had six players play the bulk of your minutes. Is that the way you'd want that first half to be played? Well, the pace was the pace we wanted to play. Your second question about playing six players. Grable got in early foul trouble. The game slowed down, so I didn't think I saw any fatigue in their faces. Larry Nance seemed to get more involved later in that half. What does he need to do to continue that in the second? Well, you know, he started the game with two missed dunks. He would have been very involved if he'd have made both of those dunks. Appreciate the time. Thank you. Having Coach Shine, thanks. End of the first half, all tied 26 26. Coming up, ATT at the half. Great game in the second of four of Mount West Conference quarterfinal action. You're watching the Mount West Tournament on CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports.